This is my music room slash studio tour. So we just walked in and shut the door. It's not a really big space, but it was supposed to be a bedroom, but it's a decent sized room. Uh, one thing that's missing currently is my lamp because in this empty space here on the desk, I did have a lamp and um, it was a really nice lamp, but I moved it to the bedroom and it, it had a nice warm bulb in it and it, it was just good for creating a bit of ambience. So I'll probably buy a new lamp, put it there. This is the view of my desks. We've got the couch over here in the corner, my guitars. So we'll start here. This is an orange amp, obviously. I don't know what exact amp it is. It's a Crush 35 RT, an orange Crush 35 RT. I haven't used it very much, but um, I mean, it looks nice and it's small enough to carry around take to gigs, take to your friends' places, but um, I actually don't play guitar much anymore, so I couldn't really tell you how it sounds. This is my Vox Stomp Lab, which also has hardly been used, um, but it's got tons of effects and stuff, but once I pick up guitar again, I'll probably get some more use out of it. Obviously, specifically my electric guitar. So right here, we've got a Fender Jazz Master. We've got my Timberidge Acoustic, really nice acoustic guitar. Uh, that's just a three guitar stand. We've got a power point here, which my stomp lab and amp is plugged into. We've got a cable manager. It's actually a coat rack. I've got a bucket hat and a cable on it. We've got some guitar chord charts. Obviously, we've got my couch. It's really comfortable. Throw blanket and some cushions, which came with the couch. This is actually like a pantry rack, but it's good for putting drinks on. Uh, we got my ukulele. Luna ukulele. My mic stand with reflection filter and pop filter. We got a Korg, micro Korg. An orange sticker on it. ASM Hydrosynth Hydro sticker on it. We got a ASM Sound Machines Hydrosynth Explorer with a missing master volume knob. Um, I've gotten a good amount of use out of these synths. I used this microcorg on my first album quite a bit. Um, the Hydrosynth Explorer I'm not much of a fan of. Let me know in the comments if you have one and if you like it. I don't use it much for sound design. I mainly just use the presets, but that's what I mean. I'm not a big fan of the presets. We got my KLK Rocket 5s. They're on stands and they have, you know, the foam under them. We got my Profit Rev 2 which I've used a fair bit, not for sound design, mostly just presets. I've got to get more into sound design, but it's actually on a bit of a tilted stand. That's why it's on an angle. We've got my Arturia Keylab 61 MK2. Um, it's actually not my main MIDI controller. I use this Akai LPK25 a fair bit more just because it's very convenient because it's in front of me. I got my Drum Brute Impact, a 
audio interface there is the Focusrite 2i4. I think it's a first generation. We got this nice little planetarium here. Um, my monitor, computer keyboard, and this really nice leather chair. This is my gaming PC, which I use for music. It's very dusty. Um, but I use this exclusively for music now. It's it's not a beast or anything, but it gets the job done. And this is a gaming laptop as a backup in case that computer ever breaks. So we've got curtains. We've got a little plant up there. Um, Here's another view of the room. This monitor here is a little bit crooked, so I'll fix that. Down here, I've got a Monotron, Korg Monotron Analog Ribbon Synthesizer. Uh, the first time I actually used this synthesizer, it actually picked up the local radio station. So, I haven't really used it since. We just got a guitar tuner, a capo, and this is the microphone for the microcord. Uh, this is a walk-in cupboard. I've currently got my old TV in here, um, but it's just filled with random things. I keep my microphone up here, some books for writing lyrics and chords in, got some guitar strings, so there is some music stuff in here, we got some guitar magazines up there, little camera there, sort of like a GoPro type thing that I haven't used before, it came free with my phone, Gryffindor poster, baby me. You know, just knickknacks. But yeah, that's the studio tour. Thanks for watching.